welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be about a basic hair care regimen. A hair care regimen, for, so, for those of you who don't know or, tr or truly understand what a regimen is, a lot of you said that you didn't have a regimen um, set up for your hair and you don't know what it is. A hair regimen to me, in my words, is just a, it's just a action plan. Because you have to put things in action, in motion, and you have to have a plan. You have to have schedules, okay? You have to understand what you're doing to your hair, what your hair needs at that particular time. A hair care regimen is just getting things together, okay, products together to maintain healthy hair, that's basically what it means to me. Once I found out and got my hair care regimen together, my hair started to grow. Before, I didn't have a plan. My hair wasn't on a schedule and I was using all kinds of products that wasn't for my hair type or the porosity of my hair. My hair began to grow. As you can see, I'm almost at armpit length, not quite yet, a few inches off, but my hair is healthy and it is growing and it's going to grow as long as it will get. So today I'm going to share with you some, some products that I use on a um, on a regular and I use these products and I am consistent with these products. Once again, once you have chosen or chosen products for your hair, you have to know the meaning behind what you are doing for your hair. What is your hair telling you? What does your hair need, okay? And you have to be consistent. So we're going to go downstairs because I have everything set up downstairs. We're going to go downstairs and I'm just going to show you the basics of a hair care regimen, okay? So if you're interested in this video, then I want you to stay tuned and follow me, all right? Okay, guys, I am back. Okay, now this is my regimen for my hair. Okay, it may look like a lot, but in essence, guys, it is not a lot. These are indeed my staples, what I use every week, few times out the week. My clarifying shampoo, this is the clarifying shampoo that I use. I have two. Now, this one I use when I get build up. This one I use before a relaxer and then after a relaxer to, to just really neutralize my scalp and my hair. You're also going to need a moisturizing shampoo. Um, you're going to need conditioner. I use this as a pre-pooing as well. I used to use these as a deep conditioners, but I have found some wonderful deep conditioners for my hair. I This is my deep conditioner that I'm using for the summer right now. Um, this is the Aussie, and then also this is another conditioner. I did a review on this last week um, for my product haul, but this is one as well. You're also going to need proteins in the hair to keep your hair strong, also to add nutrients in your hair so your hair can be healthy. I forgot the hair mayonnaise, I forgot to bring it down here, but this is another one that I like to use as a protein treatment. And you wanna use proteins, I would say every four to 12 weeks, all right? You wanna use proteins every four to 12 weeks. This is my co-washing cleansing cream that I co-wash with. These are my moisturizers right here. Okay, um, one, this is the cream. Um, this is the, the avocado cream. I just added, put it in here for conveniency. So this is that, what I use as a moisturizer. I also use my leave-in as a moisturizer. I just put it on my hair, throughout my hair, add a little cream, and then seal it with some oil. I also use my leave-in as a moisturizer as well, or just a plain leave-in and seal it with oil. Um, that is the leave-in from Shea Moistures. Over here, I have my DIY. This is, of course, my Aussie I have in here. I like to use in the summer some water and oil. I did do a review on how I make this, but at that time, I believe it was with the BO5, but that's all what's in here. I just put this on my hair and then seal it with oil. That's basically it. Another moisturizer that I love to use, I just started doing this a few months ago, just adding water and then sealing it with my sealing oil, which is a hobo oil. Okay, you can use water, cream, and oil, or just plain water. Water is the best moisturizer that you can do. 
for your hair. It's the best, the best moisturizer and seal it with the sealing oil. These are the oils. This is Elizabeth oil. I don't know why she liked for me to, but anyway, um, you can use oils. I don't use um, olive oil. This is Elizabeth oil, but I do use a jojoba and coconut and apricot oil. So you can use oils to seal in the moisture. Remember, use sealing oils to seal moisture in your hair. Do not use any any other oil but sealing oils for your hair okay now these are the tools that you will need a paddle brush I used a denim brush too I forgot to bring it down a wide tooth comb you always want to use a wide tooth comb okay these are the scrunchies that I use in my hair sometimes the satin ones I didn't bring these down either as you can see they don't have any clips or anything and they're not pulling on my hair you also going to need a satin or silk scarf I like to tie up ones you can use a bonnet whatever you feel free to use or use a satin pillowcase or, or a silk pillowcase this will help you with your hair growth okay now this is a basic basic okay basic hair care regimen so this will give you some ideals in what to do or to start or build your own hair care regimen. Now, if there's any questions that you might ask far as what I have here or anything else about a regimen, something you're not understanding, please do your own research. Also, leave me some comments down here below, and I will do my best to answer. All right? So thank you guys so much, and if it's the Lord's will, you will definitely see me in the next video. Thank you. God bless you.